Seen a steady stream of people behind him all morning long. Right now in Good Day Orlando, it's been a busy week in the Biden administration. The president got his massive infrastructure uh, plan passed in a new jobs report showing promise for the economy. Let's bring in our friend, former State Senate President Mike Herodopoulos to break these down and more. Uh, Mike, good morning. Good to see you this morning. Well, it's great to see you, Ryan. Good morning to you as well. So let's talk about this infrastructure bill passing. This has taken a lot of different turns, but it did go bipartisan support. A few Republicans supported, a few Democrats did not. Well, one great way to unify the Democrats is to get their butts kicked in New Jersey and in Virginia. Uh, they, they saw the light. They recognized that when they internally fight like they have for the last 10 months, that it's a losing proposition. And so to the credit of the Democrats, they finally came together and passed this bill. $1.2 trillion in spending over the next 10 years on roads and bridges, which make up about 10% of the traditional infrastructure bill. And a lot of the money we spend on other things like public transit, airport ports, ports, railroads, uh, road safety, and a lot of money also spent on what we call the Green New Deal. This means diversifying our power outage, uh, production, et cetera. And so it was a big win for the president. He needed one desperately because as you and I are sitting in the approval ratings right now, he's in the low 40s, high 30s as far as approval because of the difficulty he's had throughout the year. Yeah, he dropped in the 30s, the one I saw this week, but he did get some good news on the jobs report as well, up 561,000. Maybe not surprising, though, Mike, with so many companies desperate for workers, you think they'd in some ways have to come back. No, that's a great number for everyone. Look, yeah. every, more people at work, that's a good thing. We're not paying people not to work anymore. I think that was probably the biggest determining factor. They finally said we're not going to give a bonus for people not working, especially with all these jobs available. And the good news for people going back to work is they're going to get paid more because of the inflationary effects going on in the general area. And so this is a reality where people are getting back to work. The unemployment rate is now down to 4.6%, not down to the numbers we saw right before the pandemic, but a great start. But of course, already here in Florida, we've seen that happen because we took away the bonuses for people wanting to stay at home. Yeah, let's finish with this, Mike. Obviously, Republicans got a big win in Virginia. They were close in New Jersey. Maybe even more surprising was that. And voters say no to defund the police. So when you look at all those things, where what climate are we looking at right now politically? Well, this looks exactly like 2009, 2010. If you recall, that was Barack Obama's first year in office. He had these big spending, big government plans. And the, and the United States citizens said, no way. The Democrats lost a ton of seats, lost control of the House and Senate in 2010. This looks very much similar. As you pointed out, well, in New Jersey, they had won in 2020, where I didn't have beaten Trump by 16 points. He'd won by 13 points in Virginia. And as we all know, very close in New Jersey, he squeaked one out by about a point. And of course, in Virginia, not only did they win the governor's mansion, but they also took back the legislature. And so voters were very much frustrated with the first year the Biden administration foretold. And I think this is a very difficult time for Democrats. And you're probably going to see a lot more Democrat House members start to retire because they see their writing on the wall. But, of course, the Senate will still be up for grabs. It will be for sure. Got to leave it there, Mike. We'll talk state issues in the 8 o'clock. Great to see you this morning. Thank you, Ryan. That is former State Senate President Mike Herodopoulos. Also, we'll get us some new details this morning. We're hearing from UCF's campus police.